I'd recommend that people who believe it maybe should take advantage while it still exists in the Affordable Care Act. It's bizarre. Totally bizarre. And now, have you guys found that plane load of people in uniforms and weapons and flying around? I mean, you know, have you found them yet? Is anybody even from — and by the way, I respect conservative and liberal points of view in the press. Anybody found that plane? What in God's name are we doing? Look at how it makes us look around the world. It's mortifying. It's embarrassing. And it's dangerous. It's dangerous. If the President doesn't know better, which I — he has to know better, then, my Lord, we're in much more trouble than I ever thought we were. It's bizarre. And, you know, this is a case where, you know, I, I, I've been surprised, pleased but surprised, with folks I've had political arguments with, like the former governor of Michigan coming out and endorsing me. All the Republicans are endorsing me. They're, they're rich where I am. That this can't go on. I mean, this cannot go on. It's a deconstruction of a democratic system. They know it. So I, I just um, — I'll conclude with what you heard me say many times before. The words of a president matter, even a lousy president. It gives succor. It gives encouragement to people who are spouting irrational views that no one has even close to ever presuming or showing ever existed. And it's done for a simple reason. From the very beginning, he's understood the only way he could win the first time and can win this time is he fundamentally divides the nation, puts the nation and divides us or at each other's throats. That's not who we are. That's not who we are. 